it's very short notice, but I, I, I can't reschedule my meeting. Never mind. I will figure something out. Thank you. Uh, anything I can do? I'm trying to honor my husband's memory by making sure the Miranda Center expansion is on track. But I can't do that if I have a babysitter who won't show up because she thinks she's too good to wipe runny noses. Well, I don't mind wiping them. What? If you need someone to watch the boys today, I could do it. But why would you do that? Because I know what it's like when everything comes at you and you can't catch a break. But we barely know each other. How well do you know the girl that just quit? Good point. Well, I'm not signing on for a full-time gig here, but I'm free today. I love kids. I think it's fair to say that you need something to go right for a change. That would be nice. So let me help. I like that very much. You know, it hurts that she doesn't want me around. But more than that, she's just so alone. I mean, she's letting you in through a tiny little crack in the door because of Spike. But other than that, she's cutting herself off from everyone who cares about her. Which will only make the holidays that much harder. I guess all we can do is just be patient and just wait until she's ready. That could take a while. Hey, it's gonna happen, okay? I know, I know that deep down inside, she misses us as much as we miss her. I feel guilty saying this. What? I've never been more grateful to have you in my life. I feel the same way. Oh, all right, mister. Tell me what's going on. You've been wound up since we left the hospital. What is it? Oh, um... I don't know if I'm that... I found out something today that I thought was true. And it turns out, it's not. Why do I feel like this? Something involves Kara. Well, I already filled out the necessary paperwork. Well, then what happened? How long is that gonna take? What? That's insane! Hello? Great. Has anyone told you you have a wicked phone side manner? Oh, it's gonna be more fun when I get to yell at them in person. Okay, don't get arrested. <sighs> what do they say about your paperwork? Uh, there's some glitch in the system or something. I can't get on the plane until this thing is cleared up. Well, why doesn't DWB try to intervene? They tried. It's like out of their jurisdiction. Oh, did they at least tell you how long you'd be stuck here? Oh, yeah, in, in their words? Um, hmm. You can't be too sure. Uh, I mean, a week? Month? Year? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna drive to New York. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That, no. yes. Until this thing is fixed, you're gonna stay here with me. Oh, come on. You know that's the last thing that I need to do. If okay, well, <clears throat> here goes. All this time, I thought Griffin broke up my marriage with Carol. But he, he did. You saw her leave with him. Well, that's what she led me to believe. I don't understand. Well, Ted did some digging around, and it turns out that Griffin and Kara were never lovers at all. What are they? They're brother and sister. Griffin is Kara's brother. That's right. Well, I guess she didn't come here to reunite with him. And there's something else you should know. 
Kara pitched me really, really hard to join Doctors Without Borders again. But I let her know that there's nothing in this world that would take me away from my life here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so she's gone? She didn't get what she came for. She's probably on a plane right now. Sure you want to spend Christmas in some random city alone in a hotel room? I am used to being alone. You know this. Well, you don't have to be if you're with me. You really want me to stay here, even with Jake around? I don't care about Jake. I care about spending Christmas with my little sister. You want to make sure that I'm safe, huh, following all the rules? Are you? I would love to be here with you. I really, I just, I, I can't stay here. Avoid him. His family is like this entire town, you know? I, and I can't really imagine, like, it being an actual happy Christmas, like, running into Jake and his model gorgeous wife every time I turn the corner. Sure there's not a part of you that's happy that the State Department dropped the ball? Yeah, because I, I, like, came here to get back together with Jake, right? Maybe I did, okay? Okay. Maybe I came here and I just thought if I showed up, and he would be so miserable and so bored and so desperate to get out of here that we just, like, pick up right where we left off, but I don't know. There's not a snowball's chance in hell that's going to happen, so. I didn't mean to rub it in. Oh, no, come on now. Well, aren't you glad he's not available? He's not good for you. <sighs> Christmas with your brother is. Wait. What? Where are you going? I got to go see a patient. Wait, no. Can, can I... Can I tag along? <laughs> You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. If I'm stuck here, I should do something to fill the hours, right? Let's go. Okay. Hey, I was Hi. wondering when you would stop by. You were? Yeah. I figured there'd be some loose ends to tie up after I stepped down from the European office. Ah, well, no, actually, Cambia's business could wait a while. I'm, I'm here for some help on, uh, Something a little bit more personal. How personal? Greenlee and Kendall. Did, did you say personal or impossible? They need each other, Bianca. If Kendall and Greenlee are going to work this out, it won't be because we made it happen. They have to do it themselves. Finish your milk, and I promise I'll build you a TP. <laughs> oh, back so soon. How's the meeting? Good. Good. Are the boys okay? Yeah. Well, we had so much fun, I actually forgot to put Ian down for a nap. <laughs> as long as they're enjoying themselves these days, I don't mind bending the rules a little bit. Yeah, I know they've been having a hard time recently. They're okay. I can tell. Well, thanks for watching over them. Hopefully, someday I'll be able to return the favor when you have kids. Someday. Oh, I should take this. Okay. Sorry. Randy, hi. Where are you? Uh, were we supposed to meet? No, but you were supposed to be here half an hour ago, just like the rest of us. For what? Greenlee's big full scale review. Wait, are you avoiding her because you're afraid she's going to find out you're pregnant? I quit fusion. You what? It's the best thing, trust me. So you are avoiding her. Just trying to figure things out. Look, I gotta go. Let's try and connect later. Everything okay? Mm. Randy was just worried that I would catch Greenlee's wrath if I didn't show up for her big full-scale review meeting. You think Greenlee would worry about catching my wrath? What for? For not including me in the meeting. Does everyone have the prospectus? They're reviewing them now. Okay, we should get started. Are you up for this? Yeah, of course. Why? It just seemed like you were dealing with something earlier. Something personal? 
I was just calling Frankie. Busy day at the hospital. Is Kendall coming? Um, no, she has enough to deal with at home. Bianca's focusing on the Miranda Center. I'll be making all the business decisions until further notice. Apparently, everyone knew about this meeting but me. Oh, it's probably not a big deal. You just said it was a full-scale review. That's a very big deal. One that Greenlee thinks she can handle all by herself. I'm sure it was an oversight. Greenlee doesn't do oversights. You, you're not going over there. You want to bet? What about the boys? Uh, you know what? Would you mind staying just for a little bit longer? I don't know. No, you know, it won't be long. Just about a half hour or so. The boys have a play day anyway with the Conways. Thank you.